What's up you guys? It is Monday and we are just hanging out at home. Um, if you watched the last vlog, you'll know that we went on a little family vacation with David's family and it was so much fun. It was Remy's first little getaway and I was a little nervous because I wasn't sure how she would do with like sleeping and just being in a new environment for an extended period of time, but she did so well. It was so much fun. Um, it was nice to just spend some like quality time with David's family and I know that they loved hanging out with Remy. David and I got a couple date nights out of it because grandparents wanted to just hang out with Remy so that was super nice and then yesterday was Father's Day which since it was David's first Father's Day I really wanted to just spend it with him and kind of do whatever he wanted to do so tonight we're actually going to have dinner with my dad it was his birthday and Father's Day yesterday so I just want to go spend some time with him so that's our plan for tonight and then the rest of the day Remy and I are just going to kind of hang out at home. I'm going to try to get our lives in order. I have so much laundry to do and just get the house picked up, all that kind of stuff. But hope you guys had a great weekend and if you're a dad, happy Father's Day. Hope it was a good one and yeah i think that's all i have to do to like catch you guys up but um yeah i'm gonna start cleaning now that remy is down for her nap okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is get my dad's gift wrapped um like i said it was his birthday and father's day so we kind of just did one nicer gift just kind of mushed them all together i always feel bad because his birthday falls on father's day a lot um or like around the same time so it's kind of like if your birthday is around christmas i think um so i usually try to get him like a little nicer of a gift actually every single one of our dads so i have my dad my stepdad and david's dad all of their birthdays are in june and then my mom as well so like so many birthdays in june i feel like that happens to a lot of people a lot of my friends oh my gosh i just noticed all my dirty dishes <laughs> don't mind those um i feel like a lot of people have like clumps of birthdays in certain months and june is definitely like our huge month i feel like everyone's in our family's birthdays are in june so that's just how it goes but um yeah i'm gonna wrap up my dad's present just to have that done I personally think dads are so hard to buy for. I feel like they either want like the smallest of things or they want like the opposite end of the spectrum which they would never expect us to buy them like a new lawnmower or something like really expensive or it's like a pair of socks or a new shirt. My dad always is asking me to buy a new shirt like that's all he wants for like Christmas his birthday and all that stuff and I actually do really like buying him new clothes I just think it's kind of fun to pick him out and he usually likes what I pick him out but I don't always like to do that I feel like that's kind of boring sometimes so for his birthday and Father's Day together my dad works out a lot and like when he's mowing his lawn he likes to listen to music and I guess his headphones were kind of dying on him so we found these ones by Bose and they're the sport earbuds um my dad doesn't have an iPhone he has an Android I think or something so we didn't want to get him airpods obviously so we found these and they look pretty cool to be honest David found them I don't really know the first thing about this stuff but um hopefully he likes those I feel like a new pair of headphones or something like that is always nice and maybe not something that my dad would like go out and really like buy himself he's always like everything's fine so um yeah that's what we got my dad for birthday and father's day so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap everything wrapping stuff that's a perfect square is just the best We got David's dad because it's his birthday and Father's Day as well. So we got him a golf club that he's been really wanting. And I was like, how the hell am I supposed to wrap a golf club? I actually thought it'd be kind of funny to wrap it so the shape is exactly what it is. I think that's kind of funny. So it's probably how I'll wrap that one. But I love a good square when I'm trying to wrap a present. It's just super easy and you can't really mess it up.
I'm gonna actually heat up lunch really quick, um, which will be super easy because it's leftovers from yesterday. So for Father's Day, I ended up getting David a Blackstone griddle thing that he has been dying to have. It's basically like an outdoor grill type thing, but it's just a, a flat surface. So you can do like pancakes, like breakfast is really popular on there and also like hibachi. So for Father's Day yesterday, that's what I got him and then um, we got all the stuff to do a little hibachi dinner so we did like steak scallops and then he's been dying to try um, fried rice on it so we did that and it actually turned out so good so for dinner today I'm actually gonna just do fried rice and then we um, also like sauteed a ton of vegetables so I'm gonna just do that for your lunch it's gonna be like really quick i cannot find anything right now i swear like all of my dishes that i want to use all my clothes that i wanted to wear are dirty right now but that's just how mondays are so yeah i'm just gonna do this fried rice and then we did fried vegetables we did um zucchini red pepper mushrooms onion uh i think that's it um, and then the fried rice, which turned out so good. So I'm just going to heat this up in the microwave. I'm being very lazy. And I'm going to put a little sriracha on top. We also tried this and it is really good. It tastes just like the sauce you would get at like a hibachi place. Oh, Remy is waking up. Okay, here is what it looks like. Um, so yeah, last night we did steak and scallops along with this and it was really good. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna have for lunch. Miss Remy is awake from her nap, so I'm gonna go grab her and waking her up from a nap sometimes is the cutest thing ever because she's usually super smiley. Sometimes she's a little grumpy if she's really hungry, but usually it's so cute. How are you? Did you have a good nap, mama? Did you have a good nap? Yeah? Stretch those little legs. Oh. Get your arms out. Did you have a good nap? Come here, baby. Oh, mommy missed you. Mommy missed you. Mommy missed you. Can you say hi, guys? What are you doing in my crib? <laughs> what are you doing in my crib? <laughs> Can you say I am awake? We just fed her, and now we're just gonna kind of hang out, probably go play in her little gym. Um, she's officially three months old now which is so crazy i feel like she's getting so big um i was just saying to david that i can't believe she's already three months old but at the same time i like can't remember my life without her i feel like she's been <laughs> here for so much longer than three months so it's kind of weird i don't know i like can believe she's three months but at the same time i feel like we were just coming home from the hospital i don't know it's pretty crazy she officially started giggling yesterday um for the first time and i died david was downstairs and i was up in our bedroom just like playing with her on the bed and i was kind of like tickling her and she let out like her first real giggle she's of course kind of been like i don't know she's starting to like coo and stuff but I died. I just screamed for David. I he like ran upstairs. He thought something was wrong. And I was like, she just giggled for the first time. And it was so cute. I'll maybe insert a little clip that I got. I look a wreck. It was like the morning time and I don't even think I'd like brushed my hair yet. But um, it was just like the cutest. And so now all day I've been trying to like make her laugh. Can you laugh? She's kind of a serious baby sometimes. Um, but let's go play. Are you playing? What is this? All 
All right, I am about to fold a load of laundry, and while I do that, I'm gonna turn on The Bachelorette. I haven't watched any of the season that's airing right now yet, which is so weird because I used to be a diehard Bachelor franchise fan. Like, I never missed an episode. I was in, like, Bachelor brackets. Like, I was really into it. And the last, like, four seasons, I think, like, Claire, Tasia, Matt, I can't remember, maybe there was like another one that I just like, you either, we just weren't really into it. So, I do love to watch it and all my friends watch it and we like text all throughout it like on Monday nights and I miss that so I figured I should just give the season a whirl. Um, I haven't heard much about it, I don't know if people are liking her or what, there's like a guy named Greg that I have seen a bunch on social media so he must be like the one that everyone likes or something um so i'm gonna just have this on while i'm folding laundry remy's laying here watching it with me and we'll see um like i said it's just been part of my life for so long that i feel like i gotta give it a whirl mommy used to watch the bachelorette with her mom and now you're watching it with your mom that is so cool <laughs> She's just hanging out here. We're gonna leave probably in like, oh, you like it? <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna leave probably in like half hour. Okay, you're very chatty. head out. Do you want to play with Sophie? Do you want to play with Sophie? We are going to leave a little bit early to go see my parents and one, get David from work so that we don't have to drive two cars all the way there and then also we're going to maybe hit up Home Goods before we go see Dad. I don't know if you've been to Home Goods, have you? Well, if you haven't, I can't remember. Um, it's the best place ever. Anyways, I'm just packing up my diaper bag and getting ready. I'm leaving a little earlier than I was going to, but she's about to fall asleep and I didn't want her to like fall asleep and then me have to wake her up like immediately to get in the car seat. So we're hoping that she'll sleep in the car and a little bit while we're shopping and then We'll go pick up dad. So we are gonna head out and I'll bring you guys into Home Goods. Hopefully they have some. I don't really need anything, but that's kind of the best time to go to Home Goods is when you don't need anything specific. You're just like kind of looking around. I feel like that's when you find stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pack up the diaper bag and head out the door. You ready? Okay, we made it to TJ Maxx. We're just walking around. It's actually a TJ Maxx and a Home Goods, which is the best ones so just gonna walk around see what we can find i literally always find this at my tj maxx now i have like way too many so i'm not gonna buy it but i always find that and this brand is always here too which i've never tried but i've heard good things i am looking at the baby clothes and this little romper set is actually so cute I think I might have to get that one.
This little ottoman would be so cute in a nursery. It has like a lid and then you can use that for storage. I like love that. I think that's so cute. We're done shopping and on our way to have dinner with my parents. Picked up Dave from work and I thought I would show you guys the couple things that I did find when we went shopping. I didn't really find a ton but that I would do a little haul over in the car just driving. All right, you guys are balancing on my shoe. The first two things that I got were for the 4th of July. We're going to a cabin with my family and I thought these little like coffee cups were super cute. We plan to go for walks in the morning, so I thought that these would be fun to take our coffees in and if we go for like an early morning boat ride or something, I thought these were cute. Do you like them? Say red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Yeah, also, cool. you could put wine in them if you're, you know, not drinking coffee. Then I got these little cups that just have little stars all over them. They're just like little plastic kind of like red solo cups. Just thought they were cute and festive. And then I always buy these when they're there because these are the like beauty sponges that I use. They're by Real Techniques and comes in a pack of four which is super nice because then I don't have to rebuy them like every month. Okay, next is this cute little outfit. So it comes with this little like and then the matching little bloomers which I thought were super cute these will probably fit her closer to like the end of the summer but I just thought it was super cute and love the little bows on the shoulders I think that's so cute this is by Jessica Simpson which she actually has really cute baby clothes remember when Jessica Simpson's show was the big thing the newlyweds I love Jessica Her, Simpson in high school was it Nick Lachey yeah, I'm surprised you know that. I remember that. You were like not at all with the like celebrity gossip. I was obsessed with her. I did when we were learning PowerPoint in um, like our typing class or whatever in probably junior high. I you had to do a presentation on anything you wanted to. It was just to like learn the program, and I did my presentation on her. <laughs> And like he had to use the music buttons, so of course I had like her song I playing. I wish I could see that presentation today. Me too. I was like the start of my graphic design career. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last thing I got is just this candle, which I thought was really cute, probably for the bathroom. But it is. I do not know how to say that. How would you say that? Vetiver and saltwood. So, you guys way wrong, but. can guess what that smells like. But it smells very like masculine. Kind of, you probably all like this. Yeah, I do like that. Where are you going to put it? Probably in the bathroom. So, that's all I got. I feel like I never leave TJ Maxx or Home Goods without a candle. It's just kind of where you got to get them. So, yeah, that's what I got. And, um,. On our way to go have dinner with my dad. I don't think I'll ever fall in love with you. Babe.